All right, so I wanted to get into precision rifle shooting and do my first competition. Yeah. And so for me, that's outside my wheelhouse. I'm a novice to that completely. Handguns, AR-15 rifles, shotguns, all day long. Precision rifle build setups, <laughs> eh, not exactly. <laughs> um, I did some work with you on the Delta 5 before, so I wanted to come to you to help me build out the perfect rifle for that competition. Sure. And as a result, this happened. Yeah, I think we, uh... We did a great thing. I appreciate you coming to me because I feel as though uh, I know what a purpose-built rifle is, especially in the Precision Rifle Series. I've, I've shot a bunch of matches and, and uh, have got a lot of experience on what the top components are. Uh, okay. you know. So for me, I had no input whatsoever in this rifle, like none other than, of course, the aesthetics. Um, I wanted to kind of create something that was black, which nobody should be surprised about that right about now. But um, I was thinking a camo color that was satin black and gloss black. Um, and that's what we ended up doing here. Um, as far as who did the work on the actual anodizing yeah. of this rifle, yeah. um, who, who I, was that? I wish I could take credit for it, uh -huh. but uh, if anybody knows me, they know that I'm a big fan of outlaw anodizing. Both of my competition chassis are anodized. I feel like anodizing holds up really well in aluminum uh, versus Cerakote and some other products. Okay. Uh, so those guys really grabbed the bull by the horns and did what, what we called kind of a multi-cam flat and, and gloss black uh, anodizing job. It turned out awesome. Before you finish watching this video, a word from our sponsor. Have you ever thought about making a living in the firearms industry? If you enjoy gun repair, ballistics, and learning about firearms, Sonoran Desert Institute's online courses might just be a good fit for you. To find out more, visit sdi.edu or call 480-999-4767 today. Other than that, I had no input, no say. So I'm gonna leave it to you to kind of explain from back to front exactly what's on this rifle and why you decided to put on this rifle in order to help me shoot sure. and possibly win this competition. You know, it was a super easy decision for me. Uh, I have basically what is a clone of this rifle, two clones technically. Uh, I've got uh, a lot of experience and I know what those rifles are capable of, so it was a very easy decision. Okay. We chose the heart of the, the, the build is the impact precision action. Uh, I personally have over 50,000 rounds through an, an impact action and have never had a single hickey. Uh, they're extremely reliable, especially in horrible conditions like Oklahoma, which is where they're built. They've got a lot of dust yeah. that gets into them, and so they just, they never fail. They're really great actions. So as far as actions, like for the people, the novice who don't understand what the action is, right, yeah. and understand the different sections of the gun, kind of quickly explain what the action is. Sure. And what it does. Yeah, so that's the, like I said, that's the heart. Uh, some components of what makes a really great action is the fact that structurally uh, they're really solid, they're very precise, they have an integral recoil lug, an integral scope base, um, and you know this one has 20 minutes of, of uh, cant built into the to the action itself. And, and, that's, and what that is, is the ability to make adjustments depending on how far out you shoot because you can correct. end up bottoming out. It allows you to have more elevation in your scope. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, you know, that's why we chose the Impact. They, they run a a really great product. A lot of the top shooters in the country are running impact precision, uh, me included, and so that's why we chose an impact precision action. Okay. Uh, kind of moving on from there, we decided to to plant that impact action into a Masterpiece Arms Matrix Pro chassis. Okay. Uh, that's, it, that's the bulk of what you're seeking. It's kind of like correct. an AR, like, yep. like your rail system. Almost. Exactly. Known as a stock or a chassis, that's what that's holds okay. the action in place. Uh, Impact, or excuse me, Masterpiece Arms chassis uh, are, have been around for a long time. They're constantly innovating, making new and better products. This one is the latest and greatest. Uh, it's, a, it's got a wider front forearm. It allows the chassis to sit in, in a bag really, really well, and it gets stable extremely quick. Gotcha. Uh, now, this thing is really heavy, but it's supposed to be. It is. Right? Unlike yeah. me, who's like a, a weight queen when it comes to like <laughs> ARs, right? I want when you're shooting a precision rifle, you generally want them to be pretty weighty. And, and you, why is that? Right? You do, uh, you do. Yeah, the more uh, the rifle weighs, then the less felt recoil you're gonna see. And, you know, talking about weight, we, we can also talk about balance. You know, we chose a, a 28 inch barrel to help balance and that helps with muzzle flip. You know, we don't just shoot these rifles off a bipod in a rear bag. A lot of times we're just resting the front of the rifle on a fence post on a bag. And so it's very important for us to see where that bullet goes. That's why, uh, you know, we, we choose a heavy platform so it just stays put 
during recoil and recovery of recoil. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And then what do we got up next on here? Next, uh, we chose the stick, which is a Krieger barrel. Krieger's been making barrels for over 40 years. Uh, it's it's my barrel of choice. They make a phenomenal product, and uh, we chose a Krieger. It's a it's an actually an eight twist, and we chambered it. Di Precision chambered it in six five Creedmoor, and I think a big reason why we did that is because of the vast amount of factory ammo that's out there, including you know Nosler and other companies. Yep. Uh, that's why we chose uh, a twenty eight inch Krieger eight twist uh, six five Creedmoor build. And, uh, you know, to top it off, to help reduce recoil, mm -hmm. we reached out to Eric Cortina, and uh, he makes a phenomenal product called a tuner brake. Okay. What that is, is that's a muzzle brake with a weight on the end of it that allows you to actually adjust the weight forward and aft to help tame the harmonics of the barrel, okay? And uh, so it's, it's what I run on my rifles. Sometimes uh, during the life of a barrel, your groups might start to open up a little bit and what a normal reloader would do is they would, you know, uh, change their seating depth of their bullet to kind of help those harmonics out. Well, you don't have to with a tuner brake. You just adjust that tuner forward and aft, and it, it does the same effect. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, also, kind of coming back to the back of the rifle, um, you know, we, we chose a, a wee bad cheek pad. It's a nice little piece of felt. You're going to be resting your face on there all the yeah, time. Pretty that's how you got to keep that soft, smooth. Yeah, skin. it's like it's like why would you uh, order cloth seats in a in a car? You're going to order nice suede or leather seats. Gotcha. Uh, and then to top off the entire project, Leopold Mark Fives, specifically the uh, the, the Mark Five Five Twenty Five with a PR2 reticle. It's a great reticle for PRS. It actually has quarter mil holds in it, which tend to lead you into making a more precise. Uh, follow-up shot okay. or correction shot. Uh, most people kind of undervalue their corrections and it kind of leans you towards making a, a bolder correction shot. Gotcha. Uh, it also cleans up your subtensions, allowing you to see where the bullet goes during recoil and recovery recoil. Uh, we also chose a Thunder Beast bipod. I know this guy because I've, I've grown sure. to love it. I remember initially yep. you told me about it and I was like, this thing's expensive as hell. What the hell am I paying for? <laughs> sure. And, uh, since 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 using it, I've fallen in love with it. It's great. It's it's what I would call all you need, nothing you don't. Yeah. Uh, it's similar to some other simplistic bipods, to stow the legs you hit a button, but to deploy them you can just flip the legs down. Gotcha. They're also spring loaded to deploy the legs for uh, getting the rifle a little f higher up. You also have a locking system which allows you to adjust the cant uh, pressure, making it a super tight lock up fit, but. The, the bipod does not allow you to pan. I'm not a big fan of panning. I feel as though when you pan, uh, you know, the, it, it changes where the recoil comes back and doesn't come straight back to the shooter. So this always stays parallel to you. Now, I like it because it looks sexy as hell. <laughs> that should surprise no one, especially with this little gold knob here, kind of giving <laughs> a little contrast to the black sure. going on on the rifle. Yeah, actually but, uh, Area 419 makes uh, that adapter that we put on there and it's a great adapter because it's super quick to, to remove the bipod. And uh, it does, it has a little flair there to it, yeah, which is nice. Love it, love it, love it. Um, we can't not talk about the trigger. That's the fun button, right? I'm a big fan of Trigger Tech Diamond Triggers, uh, specifically the flat shoe. I like a flat shoe because I think it, it allows me to be more consistent. There's a little uh, knob on kind of the bottom of the trigger. It gives me an anchor point every time I pull the trigger. So that's why we chose a, uh, basically a clone rifle. Yeah. I wanted you to be able to um, you know, use this rifle the same way I use mine, and when we train and we practice together, it's the, it's the same rifle. Gotcha. So. Well, I mean, you knocked out the park. I really appreciate it, man. I mean, it looks it looks gorgeous, and honestly, I'm looking really looking forward to start shooting and running and practicing with this thing. So I don't embarrass myself at this competition. Yeah. But um, but Joe, yeah, thanks a lot, man. You bet, buddy. Yes, sir. You bet. You know, we talk a lot about empowerment in this country, except for when it comes to the Second Amendment. However, I can't think of anything more empowering than having the most effective tool to protect you and your family. So help me spread this message by liking and sharing this video with everyone you know. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment because the Second Amendment, when it said militia, it wasn't talking about the government. It was talking about you. Also, if you want to know where to find the I'm the Militia shirt and merchandise, click the I'm the Militia link in the description section 
of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, make sure you hit that bell symbol.